Okay, so um, we got a video or a question today from a patient and said, can you do a zirconia snap indenture? Someone on Facebook was alluding to this and the answer is no and kind of yes. So let me explain this to you. So snap indenture, okay, we're looking at this here. Snap in is define what it is. It is a denture that has the attachments inside to be able to snap into implants. So like a buttons on a shirt. So just so this would be the patient's mouth and it snaps over the top of this, okay? Could you create a zirconia device like this, zirconia, and have it snap in? And so let me tell you why in most cases it's no. First of all, zirconia is super heavy. Okay, so on the top, the weight of the zirconia, you know, it's it's if it's uh, how a snap indenture stays in is these retented retentive nylon rings. Okay, and so it's kind of like a male female fitting, and so it, it's like a metal ball slips inside of this retention uh, silicone grip, and uh, so the weight of the zirconia would be constantly pulling on that. So that's one reason. So weight of zirconia. Number two, as far as strength, zirconia really needs to be solid in the mouth. And it has to be directly tightened down with no movement. The question really provokes this, uh, this statement. A snap indenture, by definition, is being supported by the tissue and by implants. So it's like a marriage between when someone bites down, there's a squish I mean, there's movement because inside the ball, when it's when you bite down, it's it actually moves inside that joint. Okay, so it squishes in. That's why, like when I was doing a lot of snap indentures earlier in my career, people would come back and be like, "It's moving," and I'm like, "Yeah, it is moving, and it's supposed to move. If it doesn't move, it'd be like stilettos on glass and I'm breaking the device." So, the fact that a snap indenture has to move, a zirconia is not a good option. It's not a good option because the way zirconia is strong, it has great compressive strength. But as far as tensile strength, breaking, it, it can break. If it was being pushed on and say someone was didn't have it in all the way and bit down, a zirconia device, as strong as it is, it could break. So that's not a great, so it's not a great option for that. Um, when we look at um, how much, uh, the, 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 way, the way the implants are placed, implants may be placed a certain distance away. In snap indentures, they don't have to be, so there's anterior and posterior implants. When you're doing snap indentures, they don't have to be as far apart. When you're doing all on four, it requires it. So one of the big problems is if you try to upgrade from a snap indenture into a zirconia snap-in, the problem would be most likely that their the denture would have this long distance back. But because of the constraints of the cantilever, meaning the distance between anterior and posterior implants, you could only go so far back. So let's say you were gonna, you wanted to have this a zirconia uh, a snap indenture made, you maybe get that much of your teeth. So you maybe get get a couple premolars and maybe half a molar. But uh, but with uh, when you have a fixed fixed device, it's 100% supported. So now we're talking about hybrids. Um, bridges that don't snap in and out, that stay, stay, that stay solid the whole time. That's like a zirconia device like you see here, which we, we have a lot of, right? Like a titanium device, another version of it, right? Okay. So in that scenario, it's not, there's no movement. When someone bites down, it's 100%. The force goes into the bridge. The bridge goes into the implant connected by the screw. The tissue has no bearings. It doesn't support it. There's not supportive. It, it's just basically there. We build the bridge right down to the gums, but the gums don't hold the bridge up. Um, so, so I said no and yes at the beginning. So here's here's the thing. Um, I have seen some doctors build a bar, so a titanium bar. Let's see here. I have my puck here, but like where it's like a titanium bar that's built like this here, the titanium bar inside here. They could build a bar and then have a zirconia that slips on top of that because now the zirconia uh, isn't going on tissue. It wouldn't, there's no movement. Uh, and so, so in that scenario, you could, so to sum that up, 
you'd have to have a titanium bar built. And then in that titanium bar, you'd have to have a way to snap it on. So you'd have snaps that would snap on. Like you'd have these little coming off the bar, these little attachments coming off. And um, and then you'd then the zirconia would sit on top of that. And why would this not be a good option for most people? For like 99.9% .9 of people is it's just as expensive. And in my office, it'd even be more expensive to have that made. To make a zirconia bar and then have that bar customized to have these little locators, these little locator abutments come out of it. And then to have a zirconia put on top of that and make it so it comes in and out because that zirconia would also have to be cemented with attachments. You're talking about a lot of extra upgrades, a lot of extra money. And so that would, so so for most people, if they, if they want to spend that kind of money, then it would always be better, 99.9% .9 of the time, in my opinion, to go into an all on four fixed bridge. And, uh, and I say that without hesitation, you know? So it's something emotional and psychological when you go to bed with teeth and you wake up with teeth. I don't know why anyone would want to have something coming in and out. Uh, so I've, the only thing people have told me is that sometimes they feel like they want to be able to clean, clean it, take it out. And my comment to that is if the doctor makes you a device that should be made the right way with the right contours, like your natural teeth, then you shouldn't be worried about having to take the device out. It's only when a bridge is made that's way over contoured and doesn't have very high, good hygienic features that you'd be worrying about that. And so with a snap and denture, you're always gonna have issues. It has to have corners that goes into the corner of your mouth. You're always gonna be dealing with this. And, and that's why these aren't my favorite and I don't really like them. But you can go from a snap and denture Let's hit the reset button. You can go from a snap indenture into a zirconia fixed bridge. And uh, you do have to have the implants placed a certain way. They have to be the certain type of implants. That's why you don't want mini implants. So never get any mini implants. In my opinion, mini implants are for a very small select few. Um, and maybe that's a video for another day. The great thing about my type of implants is I had patients um, that I didn't snap indentures years ago, 10 years ago, and they're coming back and they're upgrading into zirconia because even back then I thought there was a possibility that maybe they would want to go into a fixed bridge. So not every case can do it because some doctors place implants in the easiest way, making it really difficult to be able to transition things. So sometimes you have to place extra implants or remove implants to make that happen. But uh, that's why you have to come in and get a CT uh, see kind of the healthy implants where the implants are vertically and horizontally to see if they can support a fixed bridge. But by and far, 99.9% .9 of the time, I would not play with trying to, you know, even if a doctor wants to do that for you, he has no idea or she has no idea the amount of work that that would require. And it's so customized that you're never, you know, you know that that's the problem when you, you have a, a, a certain type of bridge that is so customized and so complex that now that one, only one person can help you with it. Meaning that if, what if that doctor dies or sells a practice or disappears? <laughs> it's not, it happens sometimes. And, uh, and so you want to have a device that's mainstream, something that most doctors understand. And, and so that's why I try to keep things. How do you, you know, I think the, the smartest people in life try to, they have, there's something that's complex, but they make it simple. And that's why I like zirconia bridges that are, um, all monolithic made out of one piece meaning that they start at this level right with a puck and they start to be milled out and eventually they get to a place like this where they're milled and then they're cut out like this and then they go through a very long series process of sintering coloring and end up with something beautiful like this. I think that's beautiful. It's one version. Let's show you some other versions here. Something like this. Okay. Or something like this. I think these, you know, but look how hygienic. Look how, I mean, that's nice to be able to clean versus, you know, this in your mouth. Okay. So, or even worse, the top denture, you know. This is, this is difficult for people. So, so I hope that answers your question. Um, and uh, if you have any questions or comments about that, please uh, go ahead and leave them here below. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Um, when I go live on videos, uh, you'll be the ones that are alerted. And so...
Thank you so much. Have a great day.